If there's one thing you need to know about me, it's that I love ODSTs. Like most of the Halo fan base, I live and breathe them, even though they are the most underused part of the Halo franchise. But today, I got the sweetest deal online. Inside this box is more ODSTs than you can throw a stick at. Although, I guess they are small action figures, so you could throw a stick at hundreds of ODSTs, but that is far beside the point. This box is about to blow your mind. So let's open it up and check out this insane Halo Mega Bloks ODST haul. Alrighty then, this is a haul to remember. I'm certainly gonna remember this for the rest of my life. What I was most impressed with is the packaging of this haul. So there are multiple different boxes which we're going to pull out. Oh, that looks like a Covenant vehicle. And that is a very exciting box indeed. One, two, three, and this little one. So I wonder if you can tell me what this is. You Halo nerds already recognize what this is. The original Covenant Vampire. Now the Vampire is very uh, valuable these days because it only ever got released twice. Once like this, once in a more metallic sheen. And I might have already given away what's in one of the other boxes, but let's go top down and see what else we have to offer. You may have noticed I got a brand new light studio, this light box, and it's making these sets look way nicer. Let's have a look what's in this little box here before we break into that remarkable box of figures because that is going to be something that's going to take all of our collective breaths away myself included always be careful when you're operating a knife when you're opening these boxes all right here we go what do we have in here Ooh, they look like halo heroes to me that's some halo heroes baby Woo. first of all we've got the spartan oceanic now, um, you know, it's never the best visor and uh, sort of helmet paint, but it, it does the job. It's like honestly pretty good. Paint apps all around the armor are pretty exceptional. They went absolutely nuts with a lot of the um, paint apps from these sets. Oh, look at that. Sergeant Forge. Now, um, that's quite interesting. I think this is the Forge from the Forge Hog versus Goliath, if I'm not mistaken. I think that one has better paint apps. So maybe this is a, a different Forge on a Forge base plate, but I mean, looks outstanding. He just looks so good. The paint, the coals on the chest there and the shoulder, just amazing. Absolutely amazing. And then we've got a match made in heaven, Spartan DeMarco and Thorn. Now, Spartan Thorn is quite funny because it comes with this suppressor. I, if you ever remember my Hunt for Every Halo Hero series, uh, which I will complete one day, I was missing this weapon from my Spartan Thorn and I made a big deal out of it. I always did. I always felt really sad that I didn't have his weapon. And then I just found it randomly. Just out of nowhere, just found it in my, like a random box. And I was like, okay, well, that, after like a few years. Spartan Soldier is always going to be one of my all time favorite molds, all time favorite Spartan designs. I just think it looks so epic. It looks even better on this macro lens. That looks like a McFarlane figure. Like it's just so insane. I love these figures and always will. Then we got two more in here. The Spartan Defender from series one. Pretty cool, speckled effect all over in the sort of uh, same uh, design as Fighting Venom, just with more paint apps and Spartan Veil. Vale. Also series one, um, got some good paint apps on the knees, I guess, but a pretty lackluster figure. It's at least nice that there's red paint apps on the shoulders because Veil vale doesn't come with any shoulders because it's like that Sanghila kind of design. Unpainted plasma pistol, whatever. Um, it's pretty cool that the, you know, she's dual wielding. So that's a pretty epic way to start this series. Let me tell you also, this battle rifle is one of the best, one of the hottest battle rifles we have. Absolutely excellent. Forge didn't have his knife, but that's okay. He's got his shotgun. I ain't complaining. You think I'm out here complaining? Wait till you see what the rest of this haul has to offer. Like I am certainly not complaining. Six Halo heroes, three are complete, one's missing the knife, the base plate, and the gun, but I mean, that's pretty dang good. All right, what have we got next? We're gonna build up to those figures, because that is, uh, you know, the mother load. 
we're gonna open this large box. There we go. Whoa! And there it is. I kind of gave it away at the beginning because the vampire uh, comes with this Covert Ops Scorpion. So it made sense that we were gonna get the Covert Ops Scorpion as well. An absolutely gorgeous build. Um, one of my all-time favorites. The marbling effect on that is absolutely exceptional. When I saw this in the listing, I was like, that is an absolute must I need. Beautiful. Scorpion versus vampire. Now, I realize I got excited <laughs> and didn't even open the rest of this box. And I know there's some very, very rare figures in here. So without further ado, oh nice, they're individually wrapped. That adds to the uh, excitement of the video, <laughs> the engagement. All right, so each of these, I believe, each of these are a hyper rare figure, ranging in rarity, but some of them are like, ridiculously rare. These are all old articulations. Let's find out what's behind number one. There we go. So that's funny. We've actually started off at the cheaper end of things, the original Phantom Arbiter. And that's actually dope. This guy gave him the dual wield swords like Reaper Morami, Morami um, and that's, you know, he doesn't come with both of those. He comes with actually a darker purple, but I love him dual wielding both of those like a true Badass, that's amazing. He's actually the cheapest of the three, so I bet you can't even imagine what's under the other two. Both old articulation. The interesting thing about Halo Mega Blocks now is we're getting to a point where these are becoming like really rare vintage collectibles. I know some people don't like me calling them vintage, but I mean, they are realistically. Okay, looks like another Arbiter. <laughs> Dual wield swords as well. Yes. Look at that. The original. Pax Arbiter came with a one of, I believe, 5,000 Warthog. Look at the paint apps on the legs and arms there. That is just not. That is such a nice figure. Oh my goodness. And look at them side by side. Name a more iconic duo. Ah. Oh, Arbiters side by side. It's some of the dopest paint apps on any old articulation period, but the best paint apps on any old articulation figure ever lie within this bubble wrap. I genuinely believe that this is like the most highly detailed paint apps. Let's find out together. It's from Halo 3 ODST. It's the Brute Chieftain from the NMPD Pelican. It's not got the craziest number of paint apps, but look at this fading effect going from like red to bronze, like it's been smelted and it's piping hot. Look at the way those colors transition across his headdress and the horn, like it's an insane figure. One in the original Chieftain Charge, but there aren't that many. And this is from the NMPD Pelican. I still do not own the NMPD Pelican myself, but I do own all but one of the figures. And now I've got two of these chieftains. This chieftain will actually be on sale on my website eventually. <laughs> I mean, I told you, I don't mess around here. I was like, these are three of the most insane old articulation figures. Like, look at that for a bad ass lineup. So we got those three and now we're moving on to what you've all been waiting for. You've all been patient. Thanks for getting to this point of the video. <laughs> so this is mostly old articulation, but there is some really big new articulation gems in here as well. Oh my goodness. That's more than I even thought was gonna be in there. That's crazy. Here's an interesting one, a sealed original blue recon. Where do I even begin? Oh my goodness, I'm overstimulated. Tartarus from the Anniversary Battleground set. And here's a duo that I see peeking out, the Master Chief and Arbiter. As the title of this video suggested, this is an ODST haul. We're gonna get into how many ODSTs that are in here, but like first, let's just rack off some random extras. This is a SDCC New York Toy Fair exclusive. It also, I think, came out in some Toys R Us. Orange EOD from the original combat unit. Blind Bag Spartan Soldier. Oh, hoo hoo! Spartan Locke from the Vulture. I 
don't even own this figure myself. I never owned a Vulture myself. So now I officially have all the Spartan Lock figures. Well, actually, I'm missing one, but I feel like it might be in this box. Red Hayabusa from the Covenant Watchtower V Red Hornet. I especially love the difference between the black and the gray on that EOD helmet. Two Spartans from the original helmet series. A blind bag ultra rare half AC Jackal. You could get both the left side and the right side in AC. The original Night Ops Brute Chieftain before new articulation. I would love to compare that to the new articulation counterpart. Now, this is one of the reasons I bought this haul. I never owned these two figures. They're from the only set based on the Halo 5 Nightfall series. I've never had this ODST in my hands, so this is really exciting for me. Usually when I get a haul, I get maybe like one, maybe two at a stretch figures that I don't own. It's very rare that I get three that I've never even held in my hands before especially both Spartan locks that I'm missing. That is a serious haul. Aviator Spartan from one of the original two-piece drop pods. This is from the Oni Repex Siege Bike, and this is a particularly rare figure because this is from the Oni Repex Quad Walker, but only when it was transformed into new articulation. There were four or five sets that were sort of available during the transition to new articulation and got both an old and new articulation counterpart. And there's the original Brute Chieftain. You can see they came a long way with those paint app. This is exciting as well. Another reason that I bought this haul. Now I own this red Athlon Spartan. I've had this in my hands before, but I have never had this Boomco assault rifle. This is a direct paint app rip from the Boomco weapon that came out at the same time as well as a Magnum. Very nice to have this in my collection. New articulation Spartan Palmer, probably from the Spartan Assault combat unit. And now it's time to review every single ODST we get in this haul. I'll do all the ODSTs, then I'll go back to pulling out random figures. Prepare yourself. Okay, so um, I have just lined them up and uh, I <laughs> literally uh, cannot believe it. I, I cannot believe my eyes. I think there is one of every single old articulation ODST in this haul, and then some. I mean, wh what am I looking at here? Do you know? D do I know? This is absurd. I think this is genuinely every single old articulation ODST and they're all armed to the teeth. I think this guy must have just been a serious Halo ODST diehard and and has just amassed this legendary collection. So we'll go through piece by piece and we'll start with the figures from the Smuggler's Intercept. Now what's insane about this is there are two different ODST styles red and green, but only two figures come in that set. So what this crazy individual has done, ODST lock comes with an ODST helmet. So they've got another one so they can have both of their ODST. Like that's insane. Like that's so insane, so epic, but like so wild. So I have both of these ODSTs just on their own. And then also ODST lock, like I'm in heaven, absolute heaven. All right, so those three. Now, these four are from the original metallic shark fin ODST, two-piece drop pod looking amazing. And then they got revitalized into new articulation into eight ODSTs. And this is all eight of the new articulation drop pods. You can still find a couple of these on AliExpress and Chinese websites, but very hard to come by. And this green one, I do not own. So that is a beautiful addition to my collection. There's a lovely metallic sheen on so many of these. I know a lot of people are a big fan of this red ODST. All eight and a spare silver ODST as well. For some reason, this one has like this chalky uh, residue, but you can actually scrape it away. So that's gonna be cleaned up in no time. I actually thought from the original picture that that was a shark fin. This is meant to be the original ODST Dutch. These two come in the uh, original four pack with drones that I guess was originally remade into ODST Hive Exterminators. The smoke ODST. This is a blind bag chase figure, not on the original blind bag series. Came as a random insert, one in every three or four boxes. This AC ODST came in a combat unit as well. This 
is just amazing to see side by side. Red and blue ODSTs. This is from a blue armory pack exclusive to places like Target and the UK. And this is from the mystery bags that Justin and I picked up in one of our hauls. And you can get two figures per blind bag. There's two different kinds of blind bag. They were also, I believe, a Target exclusive. So amazing to see them both side by side. Amazing. I just like, what is this haul? This is insane. So these are from the original drop pods. Um, the silver ODSTs are from the original Scorpion, that convert up Scorpion that we saw against the Vampire. Only comes with two, so there's a third one randomly. And then a assortment of others. We've got, let's see, uh, blind bag ODST. We've got the ODST ambush ODSTs. Funnily enough, like a lot of them have like a much darker visor. Like there are two different kinds of this ODST I've seen over the years. One with like way dirtier, muddier visor or helmet and one with a clean helmet. Maybe it's just how the washes are randomly applied. This is also from a drop pod, 10th anniversary of Halo tribute pack. A couple of these are from Niche collector's packs and 20 figure packs, which it's hard to just pin them down in the moment, but look at them. How insane that we've got all of these, these two brown ODSTs also from a Toys R Us exclusive. I am like, like what, <laughs> what on earth? And like, could you have ever imagined this would come out of one haul? I think the most insane thing by far is the fact that he's got all three of these. And like, yeah, I might sell one, but like, not really. I gotta keep my ODSTs together. Look at them, they're insane. Did this lock ever actually come with a head mold? Or was it a, you know, spare from one of those ODSTs? Let's find out. As expected, that vulture didn't come with a lock head. So they've literally pop and swapped the spare lock head onto their vulture lock. Like, that's genius. I, I commend you 100%. And we can add them to the pile of figures that we've already unboxed. And now let's take a look at some final highlights. Blind bag flame marine. This Spartan, uh, which I'm sure the leg is in there somewhere, is also from one of the 20 figure collector's packs. These are from the original Brute Prowler. And these are from one of the original Covert Ops battle units. Now this is a really interesting figure. This is also an SDCC exclusive. Uh, maybe not just SDCC, but like convention exclusive given out at conventions. We're starting to see a theme here because these two are the Cyan Spartans, the original 2009 convention giveaways. They were also given away at places like Toys R Us if you spent a certain amount of money. They're all uh, exclusives as well as this one. So apparently they like to collect exclusives. Also great to see the two Cyan Spartans side by side. Doesn't really make Mega look very good here because that is just completely void of washes where this one is just so hyper detailed. Oh, there's two of these. Oh, there's another convention exclusive. <laughs> this is a crazy haul. Honestly, absolutely insane. One of my favorites. Skirmisher also from Blind Bags, maybe Series 8. We've got this soldier from the Covenant Watchtower. These are custom painted and I was told they're from Big Fat Chef Customs, who was a really legendary custom creator who used to come to a lot of my IRL events and sell figures. So really cool to have a couple of those. Enforcer from Blind Bags, really nice pose there. And look at that, Spartan Kelly as well. Wait, oh yeah, this haul is crazy. This is from the original Firebase. I don't own this. This is a brand new figure for me. Oh man, this haul just keeps on giving. Traditionally, it's really hard to find these kind of figures in the UK. Brute Captains, amazing. And our missing Spartan's leg. And I'm looking for one figure in particular that I haven't come across yet. The Arctic Pilot, Spartan Thorn. There it is. The Europe exclusive mail order Steel Spartan, one of 9,900 and a true mint collectible. This is a crazy haul. Like, honestly, I hype up all my hauls as you should. I'm, you know, I'm an entertainer. This one is absolutely Nuts. Halo Heroes, the PAX exclusive one of 5,000 Arbiter, Anniversary Battleground Tartarus, Firebase Kelly, and of course, the biggest highlight of all for me, the Smuggler's Intercept figures, and one more than I even could have possibly expected. I am absolutely in love with this thing. So thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. And the Smoke ODST is signing off.